Companion Therapy Laser is a class 4 laser. We use it for a whole bunch of different things. You can use it for arthritis, hip dysplasia, wounds, um, post-surgical. It is good for, it relieves pain, inflammation, um, non- or surgery free. So my patient here is in for having therapy laser. This is her third treatment. She gets it done on multiple different areas of her body um, for arthritis purposes. She's a little stiff when she walks. Um, so this is to help her with getting around a little easier, going up and down stairs easier. She's a pretty good patient for this. Not everybody's the same. Some dogs are a little bit more anxious, but all they feel basically is a warming heat from the beam from the laser itself. Um, okay. okay, so with each treatment, each treatment is different um, depending on the size of the area. Um, different factors go into how long the treatment is for. Um, it's based on their weight, their coat length, the coat color, and the skin color. All that comes into play when deciding on how long the treatment itself is going to be. Um, so right now we're going to be doing her hips. She has a little bit of an issue getting up. Um, she is an older dog. Um, she's pretty good for this. So um, just like with regular surgery lasers, unlike them, they do, this does not cut them at all. Um, it does have a little red beam in them. Um, she gets very relaxed when she gets her, her, her procedure done. So she's having multiple areas. So we're going to start doing her hips. And then you can see how we do it. And we all have goggles on. Everybody that's in the room is going to be wearing these protective eye goggles. They're specifically made for this specific laser machine. Um, even the patient here, they have doggles um, with a D on them. So they get to wear goggles as well. So that protects their eyes from any um, reflective beams that might um, come from hitting any type of object, any metal object. Um, so right now, we're going to start doing her hips. And what I'm doing now is I'm using a contact tip on the end of this. So I can actually touch this to her skin. Um, there are other tips that are for um, open wounds, so you're not actually coming into contact. Um, you are able to do this away from the skin with this specific piece. Um, she is a bony dog, so um, it wouldn't feel very comfortable if you were dragging this along bones. So you can have this slightly elevated from the skin. And we're just doing the entire hip joint on her. And we just do this at a nice steady pace. And we always want to feel the skin to make sure it's not too hot.